what is up guys, so it's been a while since we last did a video, got a lot of cards to actually talk about, so let's get started straight away. Uh, there is a bit of lawn mowing in the background, I don't know, uh, it's just one of my neighbours actually doing this, so if you guys can hear it, I uh, do apologise, hopefully it's not too loud, uh, hopefully you guys don't notice it too much. Uh, but in the meantime though, let's talk about our first card here, Lightning Storm. So this is a really cool card, uh, simply for the fact that it actually kind of uh, is reminiscent of one of the band cards. Two of the band cards, really. Um, yeah, one of the band cards. I, I don't know why I said two. Uh, but basically it's kind of like a Raigeki and a Harpy's Feather Duster as well. Its effect is, if you control no face-up monsters, you can activate one of these effects. Either destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls, or destroy all spell traps your opponent controls. So obviously the first one's kind of like Raigeki, the second one's kind of like Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, for this situation, there are conditions, so uh, you do have to have no monsters face-up which is or rather no face up cards so that is a very viable and good solution uh, because harpy's feather duster doesn't require any conditions at all so uh, if you guys are actually getting ideas that maybe that's coming off the ban list i highly doubt it because uh, this card actually has a perfect restriction there so it's still not as good as uh, harpy's feather duster um, so you pretty much got to make sure that you have nothing face up that being said, the second effect, destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls, is more so similar to Raigeki, but in the sense it's also similar to... It's kind of like Lightning Vortex, where you need to discard a card to destroy uh, face-up monsters. However, in this case, it's only specific to attack position monsters, meaning if your opponent has any set cards, uh, then you pretty much can't destroy them. So, uh, I was actually hoping that would be the case where it actually could destroy it. Uh, because, I don't know, I was hoping my opponent could actually use it against me when I'm playing crawlers, but uh, I guess that's uh, another story I want here, so... Uh, so far, I definitely do think this card is really nice, so I will be looking into getting this card into my decks. Uh, it will be a really nice card, for sure. Uh, as for rarity, I could probably guess that this might be... Uh, either an Ultra or a Secret. I think it's one of the more better cards of this set to actually be desired. The next card is Stalemate. Uh, it's a trap card. Uh, very interesting during this turn. Both players must play with their hands revealed. And while your hands are revealed due to this effect, if both players have the cards with the same names in their hands, neither player can activate the effects of that card or cards with the same name. Uh, this is actually a really good card simply because it actually can stop hand traps. Uh, you could actually purposely play hand traps and um, just pretty much have them in your hand and hope that your opponent also has them so that uh, you're actually just stopping them completely and negating them. Of course it might backfire on you, however given that you might be the person going first you could actually perform your combos without any worries. Also the fact that you could actually see each other's hands is going to be changing uh, a lot of things here for the actual gameplay itself, so uh, I think this card might actually be one of the biggest deals we actually have to uh, consider here because this is not just some random card that's actually coming out in a set, it's not like a filler card, I think this card actually might have the same impact as Nibiru as well, uh, simply for the fact that the whole state of the game might change. I mean, mirror matching for Yu-Gi-Oh! actually might be really insane here because uh, you could potentially just block out both players uh, in terms of what they're actually being able to do here. So uh, definitely am curious about this card. I don't know if this is going to be a high rarity card, but it is an insane card if you actually think about it. It's really crazy. Now, since it's October, it's also the month where Halloween will happen, so because of that, they actually released a Ghost Trick card, uh, Ghost Trick Fairy, very interesting. A level 2 Dark Spellcaster Effect Monster, 900 attack, 1000 defense, cannot be normal summoned face up unless you control a Ghost Trick Monster. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position, and second effect, when this card is flipped face up, you can target one Ghost Trick in your graveyard, set up to your field, but banish it when it leaves the field. Then you can change one face up monster your opponent controls to face down defense position up to the number of face down cards you control. Uh, not particularly 
um, a bad card, but at the same time not particularly amazing either. I think it's a really nice card to actually recover your cards from the graveyard to reset them. Obviously all ghost tricks activate on flip effects and everything like that, so it's going to be really nice. And even if it can get banished, I really highly doubt it would, simply because ghost tricks actually focus on XC summoning, so I think you could definitely make good use out of this card. We're also getting uh, Ghost Meets Girl, a Mayakashi story, so I really like this card actually. The naming is really awesome. I love how cards can actually uh, tell kind of a story to it, so hopefully there is some lore to this, um, to the Mayakashi is definitely going to look into this. Uh, but yeah, it's a quick play spell card. You can only activate one of this card's name per turn. During your main phase, target one zombie synchro monster you control. Special summon one of your zombie monsters with the same attribute as that target that is banished during your graveyard, but banish it during the end phase. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, except zombie monsters. So, uh, not too bad of a card. I mean, it's definitely very interesting to recover your zombie synchros. Uh, that being said, there are quite a few of them. Um, this also can be played in Shurinui, so uh, that's very good. And if they get banished, they also get effects to go off as well. So I can see a lot of synergy in uh, a lot of these different decks and everything like that. I definitely do like the whole zombie type in general. Uh, the fact that you could actually synergize everything together makes it really fun and very diverse in terms of what you're actually able to build. Now, of course, for the Legendary Duelist 6, we actually have the uh, confirmed fact that uh, we will actually getting support for all five of the protagonists, at least the first five, except for uh, the Reigns protagonist. So uh, here's one of the very important cards is uh, Dark Magic Secrets. Basically, it's a quick play spell and you can activate one of these effects. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field, including Dark Magician and or Dark Magician Girl as fusion material. Or Ritual Summon 1 Ritual Monster from your hand. You must also tribute monsters from your hand and or field, including Dark Magician and or Dark Magician Girl, whose total levels equal or exceed the level of the monster you summon. Very interesting card, very good card. Uh, you guys could actually uh, listen to some thoughts on uh, my friend Anders, who's uh, Raphael's review. So if you check out his channel, he made a video on this as soon as it came out, uh, where he actually gives his uh, whole perspective of what he thinks of this card. However, uh, in terms of what I think about it, I actually do think that this card is a really good card, potential for OTKing your opponent. Uh, a lot of people actually kind of underestimate this card. Of course, I might be overestimating it, but I do think that this is a really amazing card simply for the fact that this card here, it's not a hard once per turn, meaning if you have multiples of these in your hand, you could potentially actually go for multiple uh, fusion summons or multiple ritual summons during the battle phase since this is a quick play spell as well. And as a result, you could actually OTK your opponent really easily. So I do like that. Of course, it's not particularly amazing if your opponent just stops you. But the fact that you could do this during your battle phase, um, just one by one, is definitely going to be something that's really nice. And uh, I don't know, I might even give this a try on YGO Pro just to see, because I don't actually own the deck in real life. However, uh, for Dark Magicians itself, uh, definitely consider this card. It is uh, one of the really good cards, I think, are... Uh, that's actually coming out in this particular set. It's funny that it's actually a fusion spell and a ritual spell, but it can't actually be searched at all. For example, if it was a fusion spell, it could easily be searched out by, uh, I don't know, Synchro Fusionist, or maybe it could be searched out through the Predator Plant engine. Uh, otherwise, if it's a ritual card, it could be searched out through um, Preparation of Rites or even Pre-Prep. Uh, but the fact that it's a quick play spell, it's pretty hilarious that you actually can't search it out. Um, but that is actually a very balanced thing, meaning that this card would be very specific to Dark Magician decks. The next card here is Generation Next. So I was actually expecting for uh, Neo support, kind of. I mean, there is a bit of Neo support here, but I think it's mostly supporting elemental heroes in general. So it's a quick play spell. You can only activate this card's uh, name once per turn. If your life points are lower than your opponent's, take an elemental hero monster, Karibo monster, or Neo Spatial monster from your deck or graveyard whose attack is equal or lower to that difference, and either add it to your hand or special summon it, but you cannot activate effects, cards, or whatever with that name for the rest of this turn. Uh, so. 
I do think that this card is good for the fact that you could actually uh, go for your contact fusions with uh, your Neos. Uh, so that's definitely really cool, but at the same time, you could also just pretty much bring out more hero monsters to go into your, uh, I guess, fusion monsters, uh, fusion summons. So that would definitely be really nice. And Karibo, very interesting because we did talk about the advent calendar recently as well so i think that's going to be really really cool to actually make use of in that particular deck so very much so liking this card can't wait for the other support for our heroes synchro chase continuous spell you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn so if you synchro summon a warrior synchron or start a synchro monster you could target one monster in your graveyard that was used for that material and special summon it. Second effect, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your Synchro Monsters effects that have Warrior, Synchron, or Stardust in the original name. So, um, not particularly the best card. I mean, it allows you to recover one of your materials and it does prevent you or your opponent from responding to your stuff. But even so, I think this is a little bit more lackluster than the other two. So for Yuma's card, we have Zubaba Bancho, uh, Gagaga Coat, level 4 Earth Warrior effect monster, 1800 attack, 100 defense, first and second effects can only be used once per turn. First effect, if this card is in your hand and you control a Zubaba or Gagaga monster, except itself, you can special summon this card. Uh, that's just really good for going your, into your XC summon, of course. Second effect, you could target one Go 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 or Dodo Do monster in your graveyard, special summoner. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except XC's monster. So, obviously, that makes sense. Uh, that being said, there is a bit of a restriction with this particular card. It's not particularly amazing per se, but I do think that this card can. Uh, I don't know, it's a nice support that you could actually have just to help you uh, get more monsters on the board for your XC summon. And of course, the last piece of support is for Yuya's deck. Uh, so this is Performer Power Pop-Up. Uh, basically, um, it's a normal spell card and you can only activate one of this card's name per turn. Send up to three cards from your hand to the graveyard, draw that many cards. Then if you have two cards in your pendulum zones, you could special summon performer power monsters, magician pendulum monsters, and or odd eyes monsters with different names from your hand up to the number of cards you drew. With levels between the pendulum scales of the cards in your pendulum zones. Also, if you do not special summon a monster with this effect, you lose a thousand for each card in your hand. So definitely a very fair card. Uh, but at the same time, it's kind of uh, similar to a Pendulum Summon to a certain degree. I mean, I do like the effect. Uh, very fair indeed. And the fact that you can recycle so easily with this as well. Uh, definitely very excited to get this card for sure. Uh, but as of this, I do think that um, the first two cards are definitely the best one. Dark Magic Secrets and Generation Next. I am definitely most excited about those two particular cards. Uh, but that's pretty much it for today's video, so uh, definitely leave me your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Uh, this is really interesting, uh, so I can't wait for this. Um, and I do apologize for not making videos for so long as well, just been really busy with uni, so hopefully I could uh, get a lot of my work uh, done as soon as possible and then have uh, even just a little bit of time to record more videos that would be very nice uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video so i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you next time